boyfriend has been in there for over an hour. I can't believe it. It's like I'm living with him again. He's here when I go to sleep. He's here when I wake up. He's here when I want to use the shower. Ugh. I feel like I'm 16 all over again. Well, you're not 16. You're both adults now. Get out, you doofus! <laughs> <sighs> or, you know, he's rubber and you're glue. All yours. I hope you cleaned your hair out of the drain. I hope you cleaned your hair out of the drain. Shut up! Shut up! Cut it out! Me, me, me! I've never wanted you more. I want to watch entertainment tonight. Tough noogies were watching Predators of the Serengeti. Would you guys stop? It's my TV. What? Uh, quit it. Bite me. Oh, my God. Well, Monica keeps changing the channel. Oh, that's great. Why don't you tell Mommy on me? Now I'm Mommy in this little play? All right, look, I refuse to get sucked into this, like, weird little Geller dimension thing, okay? So I'm gonna go and take a nice, long, hot bubble bath because you kids are driving me crazy! Mom and Dad just sent me in here to find out if you were trying to get Ross stoned. Your parents caught Ross smoking pot in college, and he blamed it on me. Ross, I can't believe you'd do that. The reason we haven't told them we're together is because they hate me, okay? So will you fix this? Okay, okay. I'll tell them it wasn't Chandler who got high. Okay. No, who should I say it was? You! It's not like it's a big deal. You, you don't still do it or anything. All right, all right. Now, now, who should I say tricked me into doing it? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah, about telling mom and dad. I was thinking about maybe writing a letter. All right, you know what? That's it. You've had your chance. What? Mom, dad, Ross smoked pot in college. What? what? <laughs> you are such a tattletale! <laughs> mom, dad, <laughs> you remember that, that time you walked in my room and smelled marijuana? Yes. yes. Well, I told you it was Chandler who was smoking the pot, but it was me. I'm sorry. It was you? And, Dad, you know that mailman that you got fired? He didn't steal your Playboys. Ross did. <laughs> Hurricane Gloria didn't break the porch swing. Monica did. Ross hasn't worked at the museum for a year. Monica and Chandler are living together. <laughs> Ross married Rachel in Vegas and got divorced again. That's a lot of information to get in 30 seconds. <laughs> All right. Monica, why you felt you had to hide the fact that you're in an important relationship is beyond me. And we kind of figured about the porch swing. <laughs> Ross, drugs, divorced again. What happened, son? I, I, uh, I got tricked into all those things. <laughs> Chandler. You've been Ross's best friend all these years, stuck by him during the drug problems. <laughs> and now you've taken on Monica as well. Well, I don't know what to say. You're a wonderful human being. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> and Monica and Ross, I don't know what I'm going to do about the two of you. I'll talk to them. <laughs> Did you know Chandler kissed Rachel? What? When, when was this? 1987, the weekend you guys visited me at school. Oh, my God, that's wild. Yeah, but it was like a million years ago, so it doesn't matter. Well, it matters to me. Why? Because the night you kissed Rachel was the night I kissed Rachel for the very first time. You kissed her that night, too? <laughs> Two guys in one night? Oh, I thought she became a slut after she got her nose fixed. 
Seriously, where did this happen? Okay. After you told me she was passed out in our room, I went in there to make sure she was all right. She was lying on my bed, all buried in people's coats. Well, I, I went to kiss her on the forehead, you know, but it was so dark, I accidentally got her lips. I, I started to pull away, but then I, I felt her start to kiss me back. It was only for a second, but it was amazing. And now, now I find out that you kissed her first. Oh, wait, what bed did you say she was on? Mine. I'm pretty sure I put her on my bed. No, she was definitely on my bed. Why would I kiss a girl and then put her on your bed? <laughs> well, then who was on my bed? Pile of coats? I was the pile of coats. <laughs> oh my god! You were my midnight mystery kisser! <laughs> you were my first kiss with Rachel? You were my first kiss ever! <laughs> what did I marry into? Hello there. Hi. I'm Dr. Carlin. Oh, I see someone's having a little allergic reaction. Yes. Doctor, can I see you for just a moment, please? My brother um, has a slight phobia about needles. Did you tell him about my, my squirt gun idea? <laughs> my brother, the PhD, would like to know if there's any way to treat this orally. No. Under these circumstances, it has to be an injection, and it has to be now. So? <laughs> Oh. All right, let's go and have a seat. Um, doctor says it's got to be a needle, so you're just going to have to be brave, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay. Okay. Oh, boy, you are doing so good. Yes. Okay, you want to squeeze my hand? Yes. Okay. All right, Ross, don't squeeze it so hard. Honey, really, don't squeeze it so hard. Oh, Ross, I got my hand! Are you sure he didn't break it? Because it really hurts. No, it's just a good bone bruise. And right here is the puncture wound from your ring. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay. Sorry. So mm, sorry. Hey, hey, I got my S's back. <laughs> Which we can celebrate later. Celebrate. Let's have Monica decide. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Mon! Mon, get out of here! Monica! Okay, okay. You have to help us decide whose joke this is. Why do I have to decide? Because you're the only one that can be fair. Yeah. I can't be fair. You're my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, but I'm your brother. We're family. That's the most important thing in the world. <laughs> Don't try to sway her. I'm your only chance to have a baby. <laughs> Okay, let's go. All right. Um, okay, we'll we'll each tell you um, how we came up with the joke, and then you decide which one of us is telling the truth. Me. Chandler, you go first. Okay. I thought of the joke two months ago at lunch with Steve. Oh wait, is he the guy that I met at Christmas? Can I finish my story? Do you want me to pick you? See, I would never snap at you like that. <laughs> Okay, so Steve said he had to go to the doctor, and Steve's doctor's name is Dr. Mumpy. So I said, Dr. Monkey, and that is how the whole Dr. Monkey thing came up. Are you kidding? <laughs> okay, look, I, I study evolution. Remember? Evolution, monkey into man. Plus, I'm a doctor, and I had a monkey. <laughs> I'm Dr. Monkey! <laughs> I'm not arguing with that. All right, I've heard enough. I've made my decision. Oh, oh okay. I'm not okay. Well, you, tell. you are both idiots. <laughs> the joke is not funny, and it's offensive to women, and doctors, and monkeys. <laughs> right, the, you shouldn't be arguing over who gets credit. You should be arguing over who gets blamed for inflicting this horrible joke upon the world. Now let it go. The joke sucks. <laughs> Gee, I Joe. Hey, I don't know what to tell you guys. That's the doll he chose. 
What'd you do, dip it in sugar? Look, G.I. Joe's in, Barbie's out. And if you guys can't deal with it, that's just your too bad. What are you being such a weenie for? He's always a Barbie, big deal. You used to dress up like a woman. What? We used to dress up in mom's clothes all the time. What are you talking about? The big hat, the pearls, the little pink handbag. Okay, you are totally making this up. How can you not remember? You made us call you B? <laughs> Oh, God. I've literally never been this happy. Wasn't there a little song? Oh, please, God, let there be a song. No, there, was no, there was no song. There was no song. I am B. Okay. I drink tea. Okay, that's, that's a lot. Won't you? Oh, won't you? Won't you? Won't you dance around with me? Ah! You have to start getting over her. All right, if you play, you get some fresh air. Maybe you'll take your mind off Janice. And if you don't play, everyone will be mad at you because the teams won't be even. Come on. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll play. Yay! Yay! Let's do it! Ross? What? Want to play football? Um, Monica and I aren't supposed to play football. <laughs> Says who? Your mom? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, every Thanksgiving, um, we used to have a touch football game called the, the Geller Bowl. No, 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 you say that proudly. <laughs> anyway, Ross and I were always captains, and um, it got kind of competitive, and one year, Geller Bowl six, I accidentally broke Ross's nose. It was so not an accident. She saw I was about to tag her, so she threw her big, fat grandma arm elbow in my face. <laughs> Kept running. Yeah. To score the winning touchdown, by the way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, you did not win the game. The touchdown didn't count because of the spectacularly illegal. Oh, and by the way, Savage, nose breaking. I won the game. Oh, yeah? Then how come you didn't get the Geller Cup? <clears throat> there was a Geller Cup? Yes, it was the trophy you got if you won the game. But our dad said, nobody won that game, and he was sick of our fighting, so we took the trophy. <laughs> threw it in the lake. And was the curse lifted? <laughs> anyway, that's when Mom said we were not allowed to play football again. You know what? I think we should play a game. I mean, come on, it's been 12 years. Can I see you for a second? <laughs> what? All right, we're going to play. <laughs> Rachel, funny thing. Actually, uh, the end zone starts at that pole, so you're five feet short, so <laughs> we win. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So explain something to me, though. If, if nobody tagged Rachel, then isn't the play still going? <laughs> 